Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now, or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. There's very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. It didn't work out for poor Catherick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it? He would seek the power of gods for the pettiest of reasons. His own gratification. At least I seek them for the better of all. Uh, what's that? I didn't quite catch the words, but the insolent tone was clear enough. Uh, pitying, not insolent. You chase one power without knowing an even greater one lies within my reach. The crown of Carsus. Once we acquire it, your ambitions will be dwarfed. I'll be able to stand against Mistra and wrest her powers from her for the betterment of all. The crown of Carsus? Nonsense. Even if it still existed, you couldn't possibly handle its power. <laughs> Perhaps you could not. But Netheril's power is in my blood. And Mistra? I know her in ways that most mortals can only dream of. Ah. So it is you. Mistra's discarded lapdog. And now you think your bark is cause to make me tremble? There is no need for me to bark. My actions will speak for themselves. In time. Then go. Axe, I'll open a fine vintage in your name once word of your failure reaches me. see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, 
And you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours. But make no mistake, I always get what I want. Seems like a good moment to talk. You have a job to do. You'll bring him the night song, won't you? He'll be so very pleased, so very happy. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come, and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi, we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God, the Night Song is a person. At last, there you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. 
And you are a wealth without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Main. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you would keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asima, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Lorokan. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish, but never under your tutelage. Watch your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum!
You picked the wrong fight, friend. my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty. Firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... ...sadness. Why? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. And you, tiefling, you did not embarrass yourself. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Roken is dead. The bastard is dead. I am. Now that the bastards and bits. Leroican was a cruel and vicious man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night, he'd fire the most nonsensical questions at me. And for every one I answered wrong, He'd beat me. I could have killed him with my own two hands. But I kept thinking it was all a test. It had to be. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. I realize now he was just a sick, sick man. I have, with your considerable help. I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. Thankfully, I have everything I need right here. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I do indeed. I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. The Roican refused to let them stay here. They are gonna love the tower. I wouldn't have this, the tower, my family, without you. What can I do to thank you? <laughs> 